for being, isn't it? But we, we thank you both very much indeed. We're going to talk to a psychotherapist now. Pepper Shea joins us on the sofa. Very good morning to you. Morning. Um, changing schools seems like a real last resort, and really teachers should be, you know, stamping this out at the school that the child is at. Yeah, but it's it's a very very hard situation for for teachers right. to know what's going on in the first place and how to deal with it because bullying often is undercover. It's not in front of the teachers or the parents. So, but if Laura and her mum have gone to the teachers and said, This is what's happening, this is how uh, they're making Laura feel, this is what Laura's being told, what can we do about it? It seems like they're presenting it pretty upfront yeah. with what's going on, but they still don't feel like the school were able to help. In that, in that case, then I think they did the right thing, removing her from that school, because if, if they're not able to tackle it and for the school to talk to the bully's parents or bullies in, in plural, because very often there are whole groups of children that are getting together and doing this and and the thing is to look at also why why somebody is bullying somebody because hurt people hurt people so if somebody is feeling really good about themselves they're not going to want to hurt somebody else no it's a, it's sometimes it's a power trip for someone yeah isn't it? absolutely and if their feeling of status is very low and and to hurt somebody else makes them feel better the difficulty though for what you're saying is there'll be people at, uh, watching at home who could well be being bullied and you're suggesting the bullies are victims themselves and that's going to be quite hard for them to hear sure um what they what you know if, if there are people at, at home watching and they're being bullied mm. or parents are nervous about their children and maybe why they're concerned about going to school what should they try and do i think the main thing is for parents if they if the child comes to them to stay calm and to listen and to ask that child how can we help you what do you want do you want us to go to the school because often the child won't want to talk to the parents because they're afraid it'll it'll get bigger and they'll get bullied even more if they've been labelled as a, as a snitch. Um, but bullying is is a horrendous thing to go through, and no child should have to. No, no child should be sort of put through that. And the children that are that are doing it needs to be helped, taken aside, shown this is so wrong. Yeah, you know, it, it really is. Just you can affect, you can kill somebody by doing it. Well, Pippa, thanks very much. You're only going to be coming back a little bit later on to talk to us and uh, answer people's concerns. Well, psychotherapist Pippa Shea joins us now in the studio. Very good morning to you. Yeah. Um, lots of people getting in touch about this this morning. Lots of parents really worried because, yeah. of course, it's one thing if your child is being bullied and it's another thing if you're worried but your child can't talk to you about it. If they do say something or you see signs, what's the best approach? I think the best approach is to stay as calm as you possibly can. Let them know that anything they tell you is not going to shock you. You're not going to um, suddenly rush in and try and deal with it if that's what they don't want. Mm. But that you will do everything in your power to help them. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because as a parent, if I was told my child was being bullied, my yeah. absolute primary you instinct rush in there. would yeah. be to say Absolutely. to the teacher, sort this out, yep. who are the children, what yeah. are you doing to help? Yeah. Is that not the right thing to do? It depends how it's done, because if a child is worried that you're going to go in and tackle the bully, and then it's going to escalate and get even worse, then they're not going to tell you. But if, as a parent, you're able to have a very quiet word with the teacher and say, look, we think this is going on, can you keep an eye on this particular child and see if you can catch them red-handed yourself so that they don't know it's my child that said something? Because otherwise, your child is going to just keep it to themselves and you won't know what's going on. Right. Well, Tiny Tempest here with us now. Uh, Tiny, in you come. <laughs> You're a busy man. <laughs> just <laughs> just hurry you. up. Popped into, popped yeah, into the just, just, just Tiny, thanks for coming in. Lovely to see you. Well, Obviously, it's one. hugely... Have if you just a seat here. It, it's hugely important issue, of course, and, and one that you have first-hand experience. I'll talk about how you came uh, and your experience of bullying and, and, and your involvement with it. What happened um, well, your school? You know, basically, I think it's something that's just... Um, frequent in schools kind of nationwide you know and I think it's an issue that kind of goes into adult life as well so I've always been quite passionate about it and basically I teamed up with Cartoon Network and we launched the CN um, Bully Network and it's basically trying to speak out and raise awareness for kids who are getting bullied across the UK. Did you ever experience bullying? Um, I mean, personally, I think everybody's experienced bullying in a particular way. I, I had one particular incident where I helped somebody who was in my school who was getting bullied quite a lot actually and just basically by being there for him and it's quite and it's quite a thing deal. though isn't it because when lots of people see someone being bullied 
it's very easy to keep your head down and stay away because you don't want the bully to turn on you. What made you particularly stand up for that person, Tony? Do you know what? Um, it was actually just getting to spend time with him and get to know him and just realising that, you know, he wasn't the sort of person people were making him out to be. And I think once people saw me associating myself with him, it kind of made it easier for other people to do the same. Were you confident at school? Is that what helped? Um, I, I guess so, yeah, pretty confident. But how amazing for to have some a confident role model there who doesn't Take shy away. That's yeah. extraordinary. Because a lot of people, if they see somebody being bullied, will join the bullies because they're afraid themselves that they're going to be the next one to be bullied. So they'll gang up with a group of bullies. And that's sort of problem. Absolutely. So what you did was probably the most fantastic thing you could do. Oh, and, and well done. <laughs> <laughs> and you changed it. You Thank changed you. And I'm sure he had a huge brilliant. impact on the, on, on the young man who was being bullied as well. I, I don't doubt yeah. for a minute he did turn around and say, look, you've changed my school life. Definitely, and it was very important for him. You know, It was about Mufti Day as well, which is always awkward in school. Non-school uniform yeah, day, exactly. what are going to wear? Always tough. And, and if there were more people like Tiny out there doing that, if, if kids could know that that was the cool thing to do, the cool thing was to step in, say, look, this, this person's, they're cool, they're all right, stop picking them. And just be a friend as well, just be Absolutely. there for someone as well, that's the word, yeah. almost as important. And so that, that then they know there's somebody that they can talk to, yeah. rather than holding it all inside and no one knows what's going on until it's too late. Did you speak to teachers as well, or was your, did you find that just... I kind of had more of a personal one-to-one -one relationship. A... I think sometimes it's always good to to let a responsible adult know. <clears throat> Sorry, but I think just actually being there for, for the guy was the most important thing for him. Made a huge difference. We've had lots of messages uh, from viewers. viewers. Uh, Kenneth saying bullying starts at primary school. It's up to the parents and teachers to get a grip from the off to deal with it. Ali said I was bullied at school for being small and wearing glasses. Now the bullies are my friends, so there is hope. And Alex says always report it. Don't go through it alone as it's one of the worst experiences that you can go through. And I think that's key, isn't it? Yeah. You're never actually on your own and you tell yeah. someone they can help. Absolutely. Tell tell somebody. If you if you don't want to talk to your parents, tell a friend. Mm. Tell somebody, uh, you know, in in your church or any anyone. It doesn't matter. Just so that you're not keeping it yeah. to yourself. But thanks very much indeed. Thanks, such a lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you very you much. And best of luck with the campaign as well. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, you can find out more information on how to stop bullying on our website, itv.com forward slash